Um, the number one thing I want in the next president is someone who will stand up for reproductive justice. For a world in which all women have the power and resources necessary to make healthy decisions about their bodies and their families. Someone who respects women enough to trust them to make their own choices about when and how to have children, and who isn't afraid to say it out loud, on TV, in debates, and directly to Congress. We want a president. <laughs> we want a president who knows that health is actually a human right and will work to guarantee comprehensive universal health care that covers the full range of reproductive health care, including abortion. This means that the next president should put forth a health care reform plan that guarantees equal access to high quality, affordable, culturally and linguistically appropriate patient-centered care for all women, regardless of immigration status. Woo! <laughs> we want a president whose health care plans go beyond simply health insurance reform to policies that address the shameful racial and economic disparities in access and health outcomes. For the next president, we want respect and support for our choices throughout our reproductive lives. We want a president who will require that our youth have access to accurate and comprehensive reproductive health information in our schools, on your remote websites, and in social service programs. We want access to the full range of contraceptive options, from the pill to IUDs to emergency contraception. Increasing funding for the Title X Family Planning Program is going to be an extremely important step in that direction. And in order for these policies to be truly meaningful, we need a president whose agency heads and judicial nominations will value science over ideology and who will use their power <laughs> Um, and will use their power to support women in their health, not hold them down by dictating morals via their policies. We also, I told you this was a really long list, we also want support for our birth choices and a commitment to improving maternal health. We want access to the full range of birth options, including coverage for midwives, birth centers, and more. And the fact is that the United States has a really dismal record on maternal health. Um, in fact, we rate 30th in the world in maternal mortality, wow. and the rate for African American women is nearly four times higher than for white women. We really can do better than this, and the next president should increase funding for programs and services that help women to support a healthy pregnancy from the good birth to a healthy child. And last but certainly not least, we want a candidate who doesn't say the word abortion like it's a dirty word. <laughs> President who knows that your right to abortion shouldn't be contingent on your financial resources. Someone who will stand up for repealing the Hyde Amendment and will push Congress to restore and so that even women with the fewest resources are able to access abortion very easily and safely. And the reality is, is that women who rely on public, publicly funded health services are too often forced to sacrifice basic necessities such as food and rent, in order to pay for their abortions. This causes delays as they seek funding to pay for care, resulting in later, more complicated, and more expensive procedures. As, re as a result, as many as one in three women who would have had abortions are instead compelled to carry their pregnancy to term. Plus, women in public assistance often face a double bind. With no help paying for abortion, and no financial support after childbirth because of welfare reform laws, that punish them for having a ch another child while on assistance. So, I really want the next president to address and end this injustice. Whoever he is, he has an incredible opportunity in front of him. He can undo years of flawed and failed Bush administration policies regarding reproductive health. We call upon both candidates to come out strongly and consistently in support of long overdue policies that will truly make a difference in the lives and health of women and their families.